Yeah, Vortex here, and welcome to my review of the CI Audio V16 Divinity, or people just call it V16, you know, for short. As it states there, they use Sony and Knowles balanced armatures, complete, so it's just BAs only. And yeah, as full disclaimer, I want, I want to thank Sound Jedi for uh, loaning me his unit, so merci beaucoup, mon ami. Thank you very much, I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, I was not paid to this video, and all thoughts and opinions are my own. And this is easily the most expensive in-ear monitor I've ever tried. These are around sixteen hundred dollars, so it's it, it's it's up there with obviously with the price. And yeah, let's just see what's what's inside. But before I do that, I know there's not much on the on the actual packaging, but it's quite a big box, as you can see. There's my hand; it's quite big. And some mini specs here, so 18 arm impedance, sensitivity is 112 dB. I found these quite easy to power, but a little bit picky, I'll talk about later on. 16 balanced armatures per side. There's information about the cable, cable length, and natural plug type is interchangeable, which is kind of cool. I'll show that in a bit, and yeah, let's see what you get in the box. So before we get to what you're supposed to get, you also uh, get a carry case, unfortunately that's missing. Um, obviously these are not, not mine, obviously the owner still has that, but you do get a carry case as well. So let's just get onto these first. This is the, the right one. Obviously there's a vent there. Oops. Divinity. They are quite large units as you can see, but obviously I'll talk about that in a bit so you can uh, but yeah, that's the right one. Two pin, which is good. Shame you can't see, you know, all the internals. The left one seems to have a bit more red. Really nice build, again. A vent there, I guess, just to help relieve the pressure. I guess this is the unit, this is the 20th pair. Which is cool. So yeah, like I said, you normally get a case. Obviously, we don't have that. The cable. I'll unravel it in the next clip, but as you can see, interchangeable uh, connector, obviously to two pin, really nice, thick braided, kind of cool, which is in here. So this is the first one I've ever tried that has um, interchangeable cables, so let's have a look. You can see these are brand new, never used. So obviously left to right, 4.4. Uh, looks, looks like 3.5. And what was it all the way around? So 2.5 and 3.5. Again, a carbon fiber effect. So you can see in there, kind of cool. Never seen that before. These are kind of heavy, which might be a bit of a negative. But um, yeah, good stuff. In here, some tips. I'll open them in the next clip to stop getting uh, to fumbling with it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, in the next clip, I'm going to have a good look what the actual tips it comes with. I know most people are probably going to use their own, obviously, because everybody's ears are different. And then you can have a look at the cable. So to save a bit of time, I'll just obviously unbox these. Well, open the packaging. Comes with two sets of tips. So the left ones, let's pick obviously large. If it'll focus, so large, medium, small. That's it. So and uh, same large, medium, and small. Just normal silicone tips, so you can see the kind of. So what it's like, kind of normal really, and foam. So. You can see the, uh, let's crush it. So you can see how quick it ex expands quite quick. Again, small, medium, and large, and yeah. So. Uh, I know most people at this price range will have their own perfect tips to suit them, but at least that's what comes in the actual box. So yeah, I wanted to show the cable because well, obviously these are very expensive, so I want to go a bit more in depth. This is obviously the connector style, and one thing to note, as you probably can't see, is... It's very difficult to see, but at the very top, see there's a very small cutout 
at the very top you might be able to see it on the camera there see right at the top there that will align in here so at the very top if you'll focus you can see there the little marker there and that's obviously how it fits so that's it so it's quite that's the it's a really heavy connector really thick braving obviously very high quality um maybe a little bit too thick for some people but it's obviously a good quality connector obviously wide split uh chin slider which works okay and yeah so obviously that's right it's uh again good cable the, the actual ear guide is very flexible and yeah obviously this is more of a kind of a top of the line product so you want a good cable it's probably it might be a little bit too thick for some people but some pe people do like thick cables with a double c but yeah it is a really high quality cable it's in reality i don't show like on camera it looks kind of black on the camera but in real life it's a dark brown so yeah so let's get on to the review yes yeah, so finally on to the review part of the ti audio v16 divinity i'm just going to call them v16 for shorter um the pair i have don't match as you can see in real life it this is a little bit lighter it's like a dark brown obviously this is like a dark red into brown awesome kind of build quality and fit and finish i love to have seen all the drivers because it's 16 which is which is crazy but yeah, let's get straight into comfort obviously these are quite big i think the vent helps relieve the pressure i had no issues with that sometimes with all ba units when you put them in your ear um if you feel that vacuum effect i didn't have that with these uh, and so yeah so comfort with these was um surprisingly good considering the kind of the kind of big boys a bit thick uh, they're very secure you know they work quite well i didn't really have any issues obviously you can tell they're in your ear but i didn't really have any discomfort so obviously that was very important if they said if they said poor comfort i would not like these at all but obviously that's the most important so let's talk about the power and sensitivity these is i found these quite easy to power but they can be quite fussy with what you plug them into so like normal a lot you want a lower output impedance if you can um obviously most of my testing was done with my done with my desktop setup which is the topping e30 l30 combo i did try this with some of my um my daps like the vom5 which is obviously much cheaper than these are and it worked fine so you don't really need anything powerful but if you give it something clean um it does scale quite well so that's that so let's talk about actual micro details and stuff like that as an all ba set i found it very good but but i've not tried anything in this price range before so there's like things like the u12t and obviously you've got the U, U, unique melody mests and things like that i haven't tried anything like that um but i found for what these are these the actual micro details um very good i don't know if it's the best because i haven't heard the best but i was very very happy with actual you know i was very happy with it and the same goes for technical performance i was very happy with it um i was happy what it is obviously armature seemed to work very fast uh, but armatures have positives and negatives so you have to bear that in mind like for low end but i'll talk about it in a bit so let's talk about sound stage i thought sound stage is actually very good i think it has a um it has an elevation i think towards the high region which is psychoacoustics to make things sound bigger or it tricks your ears and, and your brain into sounding wide but i i don't know how, it doesn't matter how it works but like it just sounded good for me um same for imaging was also very good i don't think that's the actual like uh resolution of like planar because that's faster it always seems to be faster than this but obviously this that's kind of different kind of technology well driver tech it's gone isolation isolation i thought was also very good just passive not isolation considering there's a event there but yeah isolation was very good which could be good or bad depends on your actual you know depending on your situation and things like that so yeah let's talk about 
let's talk about sound so i'm going to i've laid the graph now so you can see now before i even get to what they sound like the, the channel matching and driver matching between them is very good as you can see obviously after 10 10k it falls off but that could be the coupler's not classed as accurate above 10 but anything below that the, the actual accuracy and the matching between them is very good it's good to see this kind of quality control but obviously you should do because obviously these are expensive so that's one thing to bear in mind so let's talk about low end so as you can see from 200 hertz down it's very precise as you can see like on the graph there's hardly any bleed i thought the uh, the base on this was very good considering it's balanced armature same for sub bass obviously my my coupler measures lowers off but between like 60 and hertz down i've said this a few times before so there's actually a little bit more sub bass than what you actually see um again because they've used good drivers it's very it's very good both decay obviously because it's armature is fast and the hit the, the the initial slam is very good i don't think it still matches a good dynamic driver um they feel like because i can seem to hit, move more air, it's more presence in the low end but for balanced armature base this is the best i've tried and yeah i was quite happy with it obviously all balanced armature unit i was quite happy with what it is so mids this is a very 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 small bleed towards the bottom i'm i'm okay with that uh male vocals again was sounding good the mids are very easy very it's very precise as you can see the graph is the graph if you understand graphs it, it kind of explain what i mean but as a sound perspective the mids are very good there's no it doesn't feel um it sounds very natural well as natural you can get with bas i think dynamic drivers still sound the most natural because of just i think sheer design but the they are the most natural sounding armatures i've ever listened to which is not to say now negative which is kind of into the treble region is the vocals can be it depends where they sit but they can be a bit as people call shouty they are a bit forward now this is less of a problem on lower volume uh, if you listen to music louder and then there's more of a strong vocal presence it's it can be there it, it can be i wouldn't say jarring but it's not as comfortable as you want it to be for obviously for how much these cost but the yeah, mids are really good they seem to work very well for a lot of different genres um i've tried this with um uh london grammar the usual i've tried this with some crazy techno side trance pop uh rap hip-hop um and i've been tried with classical seems to work very well and yeah before i digress let's get into treble like i said before it's silly the elevation again on lower volumes it's less of a problem um if you listen like i said louder you you will you, you probably will spot it like i said it's not jarring it's but it's just not comfortable you'd want to turn it down or eq it down a bit but it's very clear vocals apart from that are very good as you used to see and instrument um instruments are also again very good but um as you can see if you're looking at the graph you see that there's some dips in the treble now it seems like some instruments don't sound or they don't have the full decay like it's, it might sound a little bit blunted um it, it, it depends on what you're listening to um but those dips are probably what makes a might affect that it depends on how note how much you notice that but i noticed on certain tracks um some people might not even notice it at all but that's it also there's no sibilance as well which is great obviously for this kind of money and there's no obviously no funny ak peak or anything like that but the treble is also very well extended like the graph doesn't really show it but it easily goes past 10k like not a problem most people hear up to about 14 15 16 000 hertz kind of range and this seems to be i can't measure it but it seems to extend very well so you're getting what you're paying for so it's going from like basically 20 hertz all the way up which is great yeah but yeah technical performance i found in the treble region was very good 
not perfect those dips um may affect certain songs but it depends if you notice it i was quite happy with it i'd prefer it not to do that but it's tuned it is as it is so it's 16 bas i think with a five way crossover obviously which is obviously very complex to do um yeah so probably on to the actual conclusion and i'll include the negatives there as well so yeah so quickly negatives price these are 1600 dollars, which is like a lot and you're in you in the price range of a very stiff competition i know a lot of people seem to like the u12 t's compared to these but i've never tried them same foot then you got the unique melody uh models with the bone conductor again same kind of price um they're also meant to be very good Fortunately, i haven't tried them um ba bass so it's probably the second con some people i prefer i think a dd for the the, the bass region seems to be better i think it's just how it moves air really and but the the, the kind of up the elevated upper mid lower treble the, maybe a little bit much for me i prefer it smoother there but i know it's what it's elevated because it's the presence region so that's where between 1k and 4k is like a way a lot of your it's the most noticeable part of the, the spectrum and obviously it's elevated there so everything seems clearer that's probably the only real negative and it's quite these are obviously quite big but obviously everybody's ears are different but yeah on the whole i do like these they are again very expensive so there's all there's also an awful lot of competition these days above that price and below which you've got obviously the monarch mark ii the tribrid again i never tried that but that's meant to be very good and obviously that's got uh, est drivers so hopefully i can try something like that one day but yeah these are a very good set it just depends if uh you got deep pockets and you want an all ba set it's like uh kind of another negative is all bas can sometimes sound a bit unnatural and they are most of the time these are very good uh, and they do sound very natural just sometimes they don't um yeah anything in particular just as usual let me know in the comments but yeah stop me instead of me keep waffling on they're a good set not they're not a perfect set but they are a very very good set and obviously if i can in the future try more items in this kind of price range but yeah obviously these are the most expensive i've ever tried at the moment and obviously you have to decide if these are for you because it's again it's a lot of uh it's a lot of money so in the uk these are about 1300 pound which is about 1600 dollars uh and yeah so yeah thanks very much for watching and take care